by Hall. Toying with him. All the way to the basket. Hall, who makes no mistake. He has taken over. Razor on there. Ooh. Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Those highlights of Kansas are just spectacular, are they not? Still reveling in that one, Jason. Uh, it's ago. still, mm. I can watch that play over and over again. In fact, I have. Yes, <laughs> we just saw it again. We are live with your day-to-day -day BYU Sports play-by-play, -play. and the man who produced that step-back three at Fog Allen Fieldhouse, Dallin Hall, is with us in Studio B to preview the BYU men's basketball season. Dallin, great to have you back on the show. Great to be back, man. It's been a little while. It has been a while. You've been busy. Yeah, It's been happening have. over the summer. My gosh. Uh, if you had to sum up the last five months of your life, going back to the end of the NCAA tournament <laughs> to where you sit now, how, how would you describe those five months? Lots of change, um, you know, with coaches, team, new guys, and a lot of fun. We've uh, obviously tried to create a culture here at BYU where we compete at a super high level, and we love coming into work every day. And so I feel like we've learned a lot, trying to soak it all in and just having lots of fun getting better. You know, we get to see these little snippets of practice, and we get to see some of these highlights, which are unbelievable. But you're in there day in and day out. Give us an idea of what these practices have been like. Yeah, I think uh, extremely competitive is the word that jumps first out to me, is the coaches have done a fantastic job of creating an atmosphere, culture, and then bringing in the right guys to like supplement that. And those highlight rails, like, <laughs> we got a lot of athleticism in the gym. Um, it's kind of crazy we're posting our own guys getting postered, but that's just, <laughs> that's just how it is. Um, and it's fun. Like, there's no egos. Everyone's just about getting better and bought into the team. And so it's been a great summer. And we still got a little ways to go, but we feel like we're coming together. Dallin Hall is on BYU Sports Nation. I've heard the phrase, Practices are like, quote, NBA boot camp. So when, when I present an idea like that, how does that translate? And, and is that accurate? Because you have a coach who literally came from the NBA, and his staff is full of guys that have worked with so much NBA talent. So how does that translate when I present that phrase? Well, I mean, I've never been in the NBA, but from what I can tell, like, the coaches really care about our goals and dreams of playing at the next level. Um, and they obviously have that experience, and so it's it's honestly a huge blessing to be able to have that in the gym every day. The talent you know we have is off the charts, and so you combine that with the coaching, I think it puts us in a really good spot, and we're all just trying to, you know, learn as much as we can from this amazing coaching staff that do we you, have. Do you ever? Are there ever moments when you're like, "Geez," like <laughs> where you're just watching your teammates like do crazy things, and you catch yourself like, "Wow." Yeah, no, for sure. There's some. There's some plays like Kava, you know, he'll get up and have his head at the rim. And Cannon, he's extremely athletic. And we just have so many players that can do so many things. And it's really fun. And we push each other and we just compete at a high level. Whether you guys want to pay attention to it or not, the national spotlight is on BYU. There are national college basketball writers and pundits that talk about BYU. How are you guys handling being a part of the national spotlight and people really excited and wanting to focus on BYU basketball? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, it's kind of a flip 180 from last year. <laughs> we were a little bit in the dark. And so to have it this year, it's exciting. The energy, everyone we run into is like, man, I'm so excited for basketball season. So it gets us pumped. Uh, but ultimately, we understand that, you know, the hype or the lack of hype, whatever it is, doesn't control our fate. Like, we control our own destiny. And so we're just focusing on getting better every single day. And we know that'll pay the dividends at the end of the season. So I need to share a story. I was eating dinner with Brian Santiago recently, and he said, look, I was watching practice, and I watched Yegor take the ball from one end of the floor to the other and then just throw it down from just inside the free throw line. And I had to get up and leave. I had to get up and leave the building because I was so excited. Okay, when you are in the backcourt with him and you work closely with Yegor in the backcourt, what's that dynamic like when you watch a player like him who comes in with his European backdrop and how he's meshing with this current BYU roster? Yeah, Yegor is uh, he's a perfect fit for our team, for BYU. He's super selfless, like that's the first thing, on and off the court. He takes interest in his teammates, 
on the court, he's spectacular. Like his vision is, is super high level. Uh, he makes passes that I've never seen anyone make before, just being 6'8", right, and having his vision. And he's super fun to play with. Like for me, it's awesome to kind of get off the ball. He can relieve some of that pressure. He can make a lot of incredible passes, and now I get to attack closeouts and things like that. And so it's, it's new, and so we're figuring out, you know, that balance of how to play together. But he's super easy to play with just because he's so unselfish. Yesterday, Trevin Nell mentioned that everybody on the team's trying to keep up with you from a uh, competitive standpoint. Ooh. Uh, yeah, with high praise, certainly. Uh, how has your role changed, or has it changed, heading into your third year here? Yeah, I think, you know, my role is alongside Trevin. You know, we've been on the team, kind of the voice for the team. We try and set the standard, and so that's kind of us from a leadership aspect. Uh, offensively, you know, Still coming off a lot of pick and rolls, helping make my teammates better. And I feel like the coaches have done a great job of helping me expand my game and mm -hmm. look for opportunities to keep pressure on the defense. And so role is similar, just trying to be more assertive, more aggressive, and, and help my team any way I can. You lead me to my next question, and, and that is where, where have you developed specifically in your game? Where are you better as a basketball player now compared to last year? Yeah, we've worked a lot on um, shooting it off the bounce. And that's been a huge emphasis. We've worked a lot on defensive things like Coach JL, the virus, right? <laughs> uh, start calling me the bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been working on a little bit uh, defensively just to help me stay out of foul trouble and then been working on my free throw. So just trying to grow in those games and understand like it's a day by day process and trusting in that. Heading into year two in the Big 12, uh, year one went pretty well. Uh, that yeah. was a lot of fun. Uh, what gets you excited about, about your second crack at this conference, which looks a little different with the addition of a couple of teams? Yeah, I think everyone reloaded a little bit. We got some really good teams now in it. Um, I'm super excited to get Utah twice this year. You know, we have uh, that last game left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. That'll be a fun rivalry. Um, Kansas coming to our place. You know, it's going to be a super fun year. And, Ultimately, like, it's a dogfight every night, and that's what's super exciting. And I'm just excited to get out there in front of the rock, get the Marriott Center jumping a little bit. Let's go. He <laughs> is the BYU basketball bacteria. <laughs> Down hall. <laughs> it's not as cool as the virus, I feel like. Hey, there are healthy bacteria. <laughs> yeah, that's Okay, true. that's all good. We're going yeah. to make, make that work. <laughs> it's, a positive, it's a positive thing. Okay, we were just talking about schedule superlatives. We're talking about our best home games for BYU and best road trip. And we had a revenge games category. Utah certainly falls into that because of what happened, what you just alluded to. But is Texas Tech somewhere on there for you, Dallin, based on what happened last year? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, you know, at their place, we're up. They come storming back. And then they, they wax us in the, in the Big 12 tournament. So they're definitely on there. Um, you know, ultimately, like, not trying to get caught up in circling one game, but sure. just taking it one at a time and putting our best foot forward every single night. You, in practice, get to see what this team looks like and what's possible and all the fun things that you guys can do. How excited are you for fans to be able to see this team? Obviously, not, not in a, a situation where you're going to show too much, but to be able to at the, at the Marriott Center Madness to be able to have fans there and you guys as a team be able to go out on the court and sort of show everybody what you've got. Right, yeah, no, I guess I'll be the plug for that. Everyone show up, show out. We need you there, Cougar Nation. But I'm excited, like uh, like I was saying, the athleticism of this team is, is at a higher level. Um, I'm excited for everyone to just get a glimpse of what we're putting together. We're still not in the final stages, and I think that process will continue all the way till March, but I feel like we, uh, we have something really special, and we're just finishing putting the pieces together and working hard every day. It's gonna be fun. Okay, quick question to wrap up. Obviously, Yegor Demon is gonna attract a lot of attention. Cannon catchings. You are very much on everyone's radar. Who's somebody on the roster right now that is a little under the radar that you're like, wow, they've gotten a lot better. Like, yeah. You've been impressed with. Um. I mean, I could just list every single guy. It's been so, it's like a different guy ever practice. I think, um, you know, Dawson Baker, someone that doesn't get talked about as a lot. Dawson's a veteran presence, can put the ball in the basket. 
uh, he can really play. And so he jumps out, Mawit, right? Mm -hmm. He's been making some great plays, and I think he's going to be super vital for us this year. And so those are two guys that I feel like don't get talked about a lot that, you know, they can really score it and they can help our team a lot. Love that. Love it. It's good to have Dawson healthy. Yeah. Let's go. Seriously, unless you're guarding them, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the bacteria, the bacteria can handle can anything. Do whatever it wants. can handle anything. For those other guys, right? <laughs> Dallin, great to have you in Studio B, man. And uh, enjoy Marriott Madness tomorrow night. Appreciate it. Yeah, show out, man. Thanks, Look, Dallin. Looking forward to it.